following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, how you guys doing today? Doing great, man. How you been? Oh, great. I really appreciate you and Tommy. They, they do great job, great work, and I really appreciate it. I watch you every day. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you growling a problem with us out here, man. Let's go to uh, Sylvia in Tampa. Hey, Sylvia, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking my call. I want to tell you thank you so much for the advice you gave me on dust yesterday. I exited when you told me, and I made a, I made a healthy profit for, That's awesome. for a very short period. So thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head. Without action upon an idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 154, NASDAQ is up 76, S&Ps are up 21. Percentage wise, what we have out here, folks, is that you have the Dow Industrials up six tenths of one percent, NASDAQ up one. Percent and the S&P is up six tenths of one percent. Gold contract, gold contract right now is trading up three dollars and ten cents at twelve fifty six sixty. We have silver flat sixteen dollars five cents. Light sweet crude down a buck twenty three, trading in seventy two dollars ninety one cents. We go over to that crude market and we take a look at crude. What you're going to see, we had the crude numbers come out this morning. Bottom line little volatility uh, inside that market from the highs to the lows. This is what we had. We had a high out here today uh, in this contract of 72.34. You got a low of 70.35. Right now, this is trading out at 70.63. Bottom line is that it still seems that it doesn't want to get off of those highs. Notes and bonds. 10-year note down one tick, 120.08. 30-year bond up six at 145.17. Now, both notes and bonds, folks, and we had the Fed funds minutes come out from the June meeting. Bottom line, they, the Fed, uh, the 10-year and the 30-year will not come back off of the swing area that it looks like it wants to test. And the swing area that, ever that excuse me, folks, that we, we want to test is... 12103. It's the highs of May 30th. Uh, they're laying right there right now. We're at 12008 uh, for a slow day in the summer, the day after July 4th. There's a lot of volume in the, in the tenure. We get uh, over one, mil one million contracts. Now, what we what we definitely have happening here at midnight tonight. The bottom line is that uh, the tariffs go on uh, about 34 to 50 billion of Chinese goods. Uh, what the Chinese have said is that they are going to retaliate immediately uh, if, in fact, that switch gets pulled. Well, bottom line is that it's uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, I suspect the switch is not only going to get pulled. We'll see on the other side of what switch gets pulled on the Chinese side, meaning what goods are going to have a tariff on them. Right now, uh, if we look in the futures market, uh, copper is down 3%. Um, you get coffee off 2.5%. Crude's down 1.5%. Wheat is up almost 3%. You get cocoa up 1.1%. Um, unleaded gas, uh, that's laying out here, kind of, uh, well, it's up 3 tenths of 1%. Unleaded gas right now is trading out at uh, 12, uh, 212. 212. Uh, per gallon unleaded gas. The, the gold contract, we take a look at the gold contract, what we had with gold out here. Gold uh, had caught a bid uh, on Tuesday, nice bid, went higher. We went from uh, 1238 to 1258. Uh, we got up to 1262 today. That's a decent follow through. Um, and it had the volume behind the move again, which is impressive. Bottom line, it needs a lot more than this, but uh, it's gold's got to start. The GDX, which is the gold. Stocks, bottom line is that uh, this baby is up 18 cents. 
You have your first swing point is this 2267, which we're right at right now, 2266. Um, and, and bottom line, it's going to have... Uh, more than likely going to have the volume too, and that's impressive uh, because of the fact that it's a slow day. I do expect what we're going to see here is that this GDX wants to go up and go after $23.30. That was the high that was established on the 18th. If we go take a look at some of the higher volume equities in this market right now, actually, let's go into the NDX first. We'll see strength versus the weakness. So strength inside the NDX 100 is that you got Skyworks is up almost 4%. Maximum integrated is up uh, 3%. You got Qualcomm up 3%, and you got Xilinx up 2.9. Now you can see inside that uh, NDX 100. As soon as those chip stocks start moving, man, they, that's when that thing can take off. Uh, C Trip is putting negative in it. That's down 3%. You get Tesla off 1.4. Charter Communications is down 1. Inside the Dow Industrials, strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Uh, Point-wise, what we have out here is that you have uh, Chevron putting four negative points in, Travelers two, United Technologies one. Uh, putting health into it, or positive points, you get United Health putting 21. You get Johnson & Johnson putting 14, Caterpillar is putting 11. What is pretty wild here is that for the number of stocks that are basically up versus down inside the Dow Industrials, um, that's not a big number. That, uh, that Dow can go south in about two seconds. Um, the two largest weighting st stocks inside the GDX uh, would be uh, Barrick Gold. Barrick Gold is, up, ninth, is ninth, up 19 cents right now. That swing point that it's going after, we're laying right next to it, um, and it has volume. So I expect you're going to go after it. $13.80, April 27th. We did 7.8. We're already done 6 million shares today. That's a nice way of coming into it, meaning going after it. If we take a look at Newmont, uh, which is the largest weighting structure inside the GDX. Newmont right now, that's up 80 cents. And what that did do on Tuesday, it got inside its higher range. Anything inside $38.15, that's the high, higher range. And we need, Newmont needs about like one more real day of strength in order to break that downtrend, um, well, that's actually, you can, you can almost, I, one more day of strength to break that downtrend that started out there uh, on the 19th, uh, on the 19th out there of April, $41.93. We go take a look at uh, an Eco Eagle. Um, an Eco Eagle's done it. An Eco Eagle's uh, basically showing us the way uh, after Royal Gold. An Eco Eagle's up a buck 27. You're trading $47.55. Um, Good scene, man. You're, you're, you're over the swing point. Volume could be more. Bottom line, we'll take it, though, uh, for, for what we have. That's saying an Eco Eagles now is going to make the run for $49.80. And this would be the second uh, major gold that you could see that would bro break topside. Royal Gold broke topside big time. Uh, uh, on Tuesday, we went from a price point of $91.74. It's trading $95 right now, and it has some juice behind the move. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is up 150. Nasdaq's up 75. S&P's up 21. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! 
quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 162. You get the Nasdaq up 77. S&P's up 21. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Thursday uh, at the first hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil's got an outstanding program right here every trading day. 11 to 12, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. He also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, you can come over to our website, get the opening call right here, right now. The way you do that, you go to TFNN. You're going to go to newsletters. You go to trading newsletters. Hit the opening call, 30-day money-back guarantee. And, of course, every day you can call in talk to Basil. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. I was watching the Boston Pops last night. Yes. At the Charles River. Got to love it. And, uh, and yeah, it's very nice that it didn't uh, rain. I guess there was a little bit on the day before. There was a little bit of a storm. But last night was beautiful. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, totally. So, market-wise, what are we looking at here? So, we'll go to the Dow, which is what we always start with. And uh, we've been short the Dow. We were long, and then we switched to short uh, right on the 13th of June, just a day after the top. Because we're always, let me just see if I can get this right here, just to show people who are perhaps new to my work. Basically, what we look for in the Chapwave methodology is to look, I try to identify on a down move, the lowest low bar, and merely count each successively higher peak after that. And each successively higher peak gets alphabetized, uppercase A, B, C, D, E, F, and G on the way up. And on the way down, it's lowercase. But the most important about my work is when it gets to the fourth highest peak, other things can happen. It can recycle higher. That's where you can sometimes get your deepest uh, consolidations. So now I, let me get out of this, and I'll show some very interesting things. So we made a peak D with a little doji high. This isn't the all-time high. That all-time high was at a peak D, but it was on January the 26th at 26,616. In this case, it went to 25,402. So we've been short. We're still short, actually. In this cluster formation where the 200-period moving average of the chart on the left shows this little orange line right here, that's the 200-period exponential moving average. And it's like a magnet, and the Dow is for... Seven days has been trying to get close and then push away, and it just hasn't been able to huh. do that. So the only way that you're ready to get a break to the upside is when I see a close above 25,580, somewhere around there. I'm going to say, okay, now we've got to consider that maybe the work on the downside is done because in the weekly chart, we were looking for a lowercase. I drew this template uh, quite some time ago. Um, it shows a, 
a lowercase h pattern that goes to a lowercase m. And basically, you can see from 26,616, that goes to 23,360, bounces, comes down. The only index to make a lower low at 23,344, 16 points lower, but it was a lower low. And there's that second arch formation. So we're at the lower end of it. So that makes it very important. Any close below 23,850 says, whoa, be careful because things can get a lot worse. And you can see the monthly chart technically is weakening, but the price has held the nine period moving average. The black line is the 14 period moving average hasn't even come close. So the levels to watch really, are, as I say, the 23,850, but 23,530 is the nine period moving average key support in the Dow going into the next uh, many weeks. So yeah, you know, this is the longest that we've stayed under the 200 day moving average for over two years. Yeah, this is this is a probably one of the long. You can see I'll open this up and you'll see that the last time-wise consolidation was back in May of 2015 yeah. at 18,351. Right, and it came down very sharply, very quickly to 15,370 August of 2015, and then it kind of held. It made an H pattern. Oh, it held all right. It took off. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, uh, back, back in November of uh, 2016, it took off. Now, what's really interesting is the IWM, which is the Russell 2000, that's the one we waited and waited and waited, had patience just uh, it, every week. And you can see almost every month it made higher highs for years. Yes. All of a sudden, it turned around. We were very lucky using my Chapman Wave methodology. This happened to be a peak E, a leg E, but the very day that it shot up to that 170.20 level, this is the Russell 2000, uh, we were very lucky because the analysis that I had done that afternoon and that evening said, you know what, we're going to go short right at the opening because the risk reward, if you are correct, when you're able to get a turn like that means that you've got a cushion and that's all you're really looking for. Uh, in, in a market, you want to be able to get a position and then give yourself a cushion. So we're very lucky we shorted almost the top tick and it came down from the 170 level down to 162. And you can see these last three green candles. This is a nice rally, but in the daily chart, it's really just a bounce. It's the weekly chart that I'm going to watch real closely because the technicals here are still pretty darn good. Monthly chart is still very good. So this is this is going to be very important overall in the market because the, if the last of the of the heavies, that is the Russell 2000 small caps, I mean heavies in the sense that it was a, basically a leader all the way up. If that starts to weaken, then I think you've got this rotation that says now you've got to be real careful because you're kind of losing your leadership. You know, I spoke to you about the SMHs, yes. which, which in a different way as a sector rotation, what, I mean, look at that chart, it just screamed. It just, it never came down. Every single month, with tiny little candles, Higher, 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 low. Higher just kept on going until the very top. So um, here again, we were kind of lucky using the Chapman Wave methodology. We went from the long side. Uh, we were long most of May, um, the semiconductor, the SMHs, and we were able to turn around and we've shorted that and we are still short. We have taken profits in both the IWM, the uh, the Dow, and the um, and the semiconductors, taken some profits off. I'm expecting that we're going to actually add some of that back again. But we've kept our core short position. So this is another very, these are very, I think these are very important icons to be looking at at this particular time, because you've had a five month correction in the uh, down the S&P, January the 26 was their high. And now we're rotating. If you remember, I'm not giving a comparison as to the depth of the decline. But if you remember in January, I think it was the 14th of January in 2000, the down made its top, but you had to wait until three months, you had to wait until March before the SMHs and, this, and the uh, S&P made their top. So I know if there's a relationship here other than time, what I do try to emphasize for subscribers and also on my show is that bottoms are made kind of together, you know, March the 6th of 2009 and March the 7th of down the S&P yes. made their low. Uh, but tops, you rotate through the tops because yeah. the fund managers are going through these different sectors. And I, I look at this and I say, gee, that looks to me like some kind of distribution top right here. Uh, so I'm watching it very closely for the SMHs. And we did actually, we went along on Tuesday, a sector that's held very well. And so far, this sector is doing very nicely. So it's not as if we aren't 
sh uh, long or short, we, we have a mix. We have the short side, and I'm quite prepared to look at the long side. And I think this is that kind of market. We call it the bifurcated market, split market. I think these are, there are places where you can go along. But I'm looking at the bigger context, and I still think there's more digesting to do. And that makes that whole 23,300s in the Dow over the next month or so really important to hold. But I think we're rotating. Yeah. And, folks, the way you can get Basil's newsletter, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to newsletters. You're going to go to trading newsletters. You see the opening call right there, 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 115. NASDAQ's up 74. S&Ps are up 21. Come right back, folks. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how Everbank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? Everbank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? Everbank ingeniously develops accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank as a member FDIC and equal housing lender. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now um, up 147. NASDAQ's up 73. S&Ps are up 20. Let's go to Tom in Pennsylvania. Hey, Tom, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, how's everything in Florida? It's, it's great. <laughs> it's been... Uh, it's been it's sizzling. It's been well. It's 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 been sizzling. Yes, it's been sizzling. But uh, you'd be surprised. For coming into July, it doesn't seem as bad as it you know could be. Let's put it that way. Because the the weather is beautiful today. You know, and it has been all the weekend. So well, I used to live in Tampa. That's when I first so started you know. listening to you. Yeah, I like it. And, wow. And uh, it's been hot as Tampa up here. 
No, it's been brutal. I, you know, because I was right from Boston, I know, man, it, it, you know, in August in Boston, it seems like it's hotter in Boston than it is in Florida. I mean, yeah. that cement gets hot and it never gets cooled well, it gets cooled down. But what, you have those streaks that come in like two and a half weeks at a time, it's like unbearable, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Hey, by the way, uh, before we get into Goro, I think you might find this interesting because I know you're big into real estate. Yes. And now, now Florida real estate runs, as you know, runs in cycles. Right. Okay. And that's why I sold my place in Florida before that, you know, before the top. I was telling people this is a huge bubble, get out. Yeah. Uh, came to Pennsylvania. The real estate market is totally different. And I tried, I, find, I bought a house. Matter of fact, I'm moving in right now. Okay. But I tried to wrap my head around the real estate market because houses go on the market and they get snapped up right away. And uh, here's, here's the deal with uh, the real estate market up here. Number one, it's not that there's a housing boom going on. The, the situation in Western PA is there's no more buildable land. Okay, yeah. Okay. So the supply is very restricted. Sure. Secondly, uh, in uh, Western PA, uh, Shell, you know, Shell Oil? Yeah. Uh, they're building a huge cracker plant. Okay. And you have people from Texas. There's Texas plates all over the place nice. up here. Yeah. And there's also, a, a, and we have a big uh, technology industry that's, uh, it's very big. You have California plates, people coming from uh, uh, Silicon Valley. So that's pushing the prices up around here. I thought maybe you might find that to be interesting. That's cool. Well, and would you also have the, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people right where we live down here that came from Pennsylvania that hit it like big time because of the, the uh, shale oil, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they basically had retired and they thought they would fine and they were fine but now they're really super fine <laughs> that farmland yeah, that farmland turned into like millions so mm -hmm. yeah right cool man well, anyway anyway on goro for in my opinion that's a super looking stock i've traded in and out of it about four times in the last few months and i regret every time i sell it yeah if you look on uh, i'm not in front of the screen but if you look on a a monthly, a 20-year monthly, that thing, in my opinion, looks like it's ready to take off. So let's and take a look at it. Well, what I can't quite figure out, you know, this is really strong. There's no doubt. You know, I mean, you know, if we just go back six months, this has been a one-way stock where these gold stocks haven't done that. Four months ago, the stock said $4. You're at 695 right now. Um, you did take out a, let me see this. What I, what I don't like is I saw the chief operating officer just sold half his stock. But let me just see this. Mm -hmm. it looks like an ABC up, actually. So your A point is 4.30. You get $2. That's still saying, that's still saying, yeah, it wants to go to 8 bucks. So that 8.20 is it's a high volume, you know, swing point. It wants to go there. That's, that's what it looks like. And that's September of 2016. You know, that being said, now look at this. You know, if I go like this. I saw this come across because it doesn't, it, it's hard to comprehend that these other equities haven't gone and this has, and yet, you know, this is a PE of 77, which is unheard of in the gold mines. Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, what's pumping this? They don't take a lot of money in, but evidently, uh, you know, they got this mine up and maybe, maybe the, the revenue will, is going to go up. Right now they only take in uh, 25, well, 32 million a quarter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so fundamentally, it's hard to wrap your head around why this went to that level, you know, but, oh, I know what I was doing. I was getting you the, uh, the cell. So we get down to the, you can see the chief operating officer. I mean, he only had 40,000 shares and he just sold 20,000 of them last week. Yeah. See that right there? I mean, it's, hmm. Yeah. So... Doesn't mean it can't go to eight dollars, but uh, it's, it's you know what I mean. It, it is hard to to right here. Let's if we bring up an Eco Eagle. Well, actually no. Look at man, these things are going for way too much. An Eco Eagle is a 84 PE. These things are a trip, man. Okay, one second. Let me see this. Royal Gold. 
That's a 57. Gold Corp. That's a 51. Yeah, it's, it's you know, that's a big that's a big number, man. I mean, there's nothing wrong with trading it. it, it evidently, there, there's something. It's either a cult stock there, Tom, or something going on there for sure. You can see it because okay. these other equities haven't gone up like that that dramatically. Do you know what I mean? But okay, because I'm out of it, and I'd like to get back in. I want to get your opinion. I would just just wait until you get that correction, because okay. it's not worth it to get in for a buck right now. You know, and this was four dollars and twenty cents four months ago. And it doesn't mean it's going to correct either. But I, when Let's picture this. When, when you only had 40,000 shares and it's a $6 stock and you're the chief operating officer and you sold 20,000 of them, it's like, why? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, okay. You and I wouldn't do that. You and I probably own more than he owns. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So that's when you want to kind of wrap your head around and say, okay, man, you know, you know that if he's the operating officer, you know, if you think it's going to go higher and even need money because I can I can figure out the basis and say, hey listen you know he might need money for college for his children for I mean there are a million reasons he can need money but if you thought the stock was going to go higher you try to do anything and everything else you can to not sell your stock until you thought yeah. it was going to flatten out you know so hey, uh, could you look over one more stock sure uh, D O C U DocuSign yeah, this is a pretty cool company. So you get DocuSign, uh, lows 37, the high 66. And if you've never used this, folks, you'll end up using it. They, these, it's real, makes life real easy. Okay, so this here has to get back inside that 55 area. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, from 66 to 55, got juice. So, you know, that can go right back up to 66. That's how that's set okay. up. It, this is harder to look at because it's such a new IPO. I mean... Yeah, you know, I traded that a couple of times, and then I let it. Uh, I got out of it, and I let it uh, hit its peak up there and come back down. I got in about 53. Yeah, this is probably a nice trading stock because the what, what the cool thing is that when you pick up a few good trading stocks, and you're on the right side of the trend, and in this particular case, this is. It's not a new business, but I think it's a business that is going to pick up traffic in a big way, right? It's, it's, it's changing, you know, a lot of ways that how we all do business. So, Cooking, brother. All right, thanks, Tom. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You too. Dow Industrials up 165, NASDAQ up 75, S&P's up 22. Come right back, folks. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal-clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal-clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. 
Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 168. Uh, S&Ps are up 23. Nasdaq is up 70. And Scott Pruitt, folks, he's gone. <laughs> Man, it, he, was like, he was like the Teflon uh, person in there with uh, so many ethical deals uh, going against him. But bottom line, uh, let's see what they're saying. I have accepted the resignation of Scott Pruitt as administrator of the EPA. Uh, Trump says on Twitter, Trump has been dogged by allegations of ethical lapses. Yeah, slightly. Uh, and he has a, a dozen open investigations. I'm telling you, man, blows my mind uh, the amount of money that uh, these guys can uh, spend uh, once they once once they get into power. Um, but that's uh, that's the end of him spending our money on a continual basis, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, we get over and we take a look at uh, some of the. Uh, Copper. Let's go into the copper market. This is what we want to look at. So, copper is getting smoked out here today, folks. It's down 3%. What we're going to learn uh, basically at midnight, I suspect, and this, will, this is when the Asian markets will be open. Let's look at copper first. So, copper's gone from a price point of uh, 333 a pound. We're at 283 right now. This was a monster move out here today. This almost probably went down limit. Down limit 271. No, not quite. So $2.71 would be down living. We went to two eighty two dollars today. Uh, but what I expect, HG1, what you're going to see out here is that uh, you, you have the, put this back. Okay, so when we put this on a continuous contract, well, that's not the end of the world. So we can trade to about two sixty eight. Right now, you're at 281. What I, what I do expect we're going to have is this. You have the Asian markets uh, open approximately 8.30, 9, 8 to 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. At midnight Eastern Standard Time, that's when the tariffs go on. Real question is going to be at midnight uh, Eastern Standard Time, uh, what do the Chinese do in response to it? They say they're going to basically uh, put tariffs on, and they're going to do it immediately. Um, so we'll see where that shakes out. When we go over to uh, that market, Asia, um, Asia looks like it's going to be a tough market tonight no matter what happens, okay? Uh, we take a look at this. Uh, last night was a tough market over there. Um, we're at 15.28. And let me see. If I put this on, if I, this is pretty intense, actually. If I put this on a monthly, We've already broken the lows of 2015. Looks like it's going to try to jump back inside. This is the Xinjiang. Uh, these, these will be the smaller equities in China, but they're, they're still monster equities. It looks like that's going to jump back inside its lower range. So that means that game is down to... No, another couple thousand points. No, no, a couple hundred points down, yeah. 1300 right now you're at 1528 if we go to the Nikkei we take a look at the Nikkei in Japan uh, Nikkei in Japan last night that went south 
170 bucks or 21,500. That's making its way down to the lower end of uh, 20,700. We go take a look at the yen. Now the, the yen bottom line has not been getting stronger. Um, the yen, you know, has been laying at this uh, 110 yen to one US dollar. And that's unusual in the aspect that uh, the Nikkei itself has got hammered. Most times when you see the hammering of the Nikkei in general, you're seeing the, the yuan get stronger. And we haven't, uh, the yuan is basically laying here at 110. Um, the higher the, the yuan goes up in price, the weaker it gets into one US dollar. Uh, if we go take a look at the XAU, the HUI, as we uh, come into uh, not only tonight, but uh, tomorrow, uh, Friday, long, uh, well, not a long weekend. Uh, but this wants to make the run. So the April run is on. That's, that's what I expect we're going to see uh, this making the run by tomorrow. Uh, in the XAU, we're talking uh, $86 right now. We're at $83.60. Uh, gold Bugs Index, what we have with the Gold Bugs Index right now, that's up $236. That must, wants to make the run to 186, and in both cases uh, we have plenty of time because you. Can, I expect. Yeah, let's go to the dollar index. You can expect we're going to see some movement tonight in the currency markets. Uh, dollar index out here today was flat. Well, it's down 257 ticks, but it's really a sideways market out here. That's what. That's where I'd, I'd basically say that the dollar traded to a high today of uh, 94,345, a low of 93. 915, so they had a 400 tick differential. Uh, you're into where we did break topside from, but uh, you already killed half of that bar. So once you've traded back inside that bar, and it's a monster, it's saying, okay, your probability is much higher. You're going to go to the bottom of the bar. That bottom of the bar is that uh, 94, no, 92,820. And uh, that's about a penny and a half from where we are right now. The XLE, once again, couldn't hold price. Pretty amazing with uh, oil, um, you know, basically hitting $74. We're at 70, uh, 25, 75, 20, we're at 70, yeah, 73 bucks right now. Uh, XLE is at uh, 75. The XLF, when we take a look at the financials, the bottom line uh, inside the financials, they just can't hold price. Uh, and what we, what we did have today is that the spread between the two and the 10 year folks, uh, you'll keep hearing this more and more, that you talk about flattening out, that has been the flattest it was since 2007. So the flatter that gets, and if it in fact gets inverted, uh, your probability gets a lot higher that within you know year, year and a half, we're gonna be coming into a uh, recession. Uh, the way that the XLF is trading right now, um, the spreads are going down inside the bond market. They're going down dramatically. And so it looks to me like just going to be a matter of uh, whether it's another week, week and a half. The XLF's ready to fail. And we've been in this consolidation since December of 2017. Uh, if we get one good day down, this XLF can be laying down here at $21. And right now you're at $26.52. And the XLF, that moves very slowly. So. If, in fact, we break, you know, this $26, I don't expect to be down there one day. My point is that you break it with wide price spread, you break it with volume, that's where that baby wants to go. And that would basically be setting up saying that, you know, guess what? The short-term rates um, and the longer-term rates are basically going to be going uh, down versus up. And, you know, we'll see whether that's going to be the tariff issue, um, you know, because guess what? Uh, it's amazing just looking at this market right now coming into the, the market knows at midnight tonight the tariffs go on. What the market doesn't know, you know, there is possibly some folks in China that know, uh, is bottom line, are there going to be tariffs, taxes at 1201 Eastern Standard Time on goods that are coming out of the U.S. Uh, going into China? And that's, we're going to find that out. We're going to find it out very quickly. We're going to take a look at some of the big dogs out here. Amazon, Amazon's hanging tough up here, 1,700. Uh, you get Google. Google right now is trading at a price point of 1,123. Facebook just won't back off. Facebook, you know, out of all these equities, that, that little baby is at uh, 197. 
You're up five bucks. This that wants to test the ties once again. Dow Industrials up 177. Nasdaq's up 82. S&P's up 24. Coming right back. Last 10 minutes of trading. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, up 191, Nasdaq up 84, S&P's up 26. Bottom line is that uh, coming into these uh, tasks tonight, uh, the market's not worrying about it. Uh, you got the SPY up uh, two. $2.25, you know, you're coming into the downdraft uh, from the 25th of uh, June, uh, 47 million uh, versus that uh, 137 million. So bottom line, you're going to need uh, a lot more juice in order to get up and over that. But guess what? It's willing to uh, go into it. Uh, the uh, Qs, same type of setup. The Qs are going into 77 million, done all of 26 million. Uh, same type of setup, though. You're going to basically close out uh, at the highs of the day. Uh, the small caps, uh, bottom line, up 160. They, uh, that's going into uh, 37 million. You get 15. In all cases, um, you're coming in to those numbers. You get contraction of volume. But what you do have is that you're going to hold on price. If you hold on price, that's, that's also saying that we uh, can drift uh, up uh, even tomorrow morning. Some of the higher volume equities out here, this will be a low volume day too, is that you have uh, advanced micro, uh, some, some of these, uh, you had micro up, micro technologies was, uh, micron technologies was up $1.30, you had advanced micro up 48 cents, Intel was up 130, so the chip stocks, they not only were moving, they were moving pretty good. Let's go see what NVIDIA did, NVIDIA right now, 
Up, yeah, up six dollars. But it, uh, this is Nvidia is still building cars for downtown. Let me go look at Intel too. I suspect Intel's doing the same thing. Yeah, Intel's doing the same thing. So Intel's coming into uh, 45 million, 22. They'll be able to push this around just about anywhere they want. What will be intriguing uh, out here tonight, no doubt, is not only just the TAF market, but what that dollar does in correlation to what that gold market does. Because what we have had is this: you got you got a you got a bid on gold, you got a bid on silver, uh, the GDX, the HUI, the XAU, they all. Uh, uh, went uh, topside. Royal Gold uh, just about broke out. There's a nice day up here. So, bottom line, always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great one, safe one. Look forward to speaking right back here, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Meow! Go get them, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.